Thank you. Uh, feel, feel free to uh, turn on or off your camera. Like Anand sir said, um, we want to make sure this is an uh, interactive session. So um, let me start by first saying uh, thank you to uh, Anand sir and Garze Marathi team for uh, having me, inviting me today to share my experiences. Um, I'm really, really excited to be here, uh, mainly because I also want to learn from all of you. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure and an honor to, to be, uh, you know, sharing my experiences and speaking on this platform. So um, thank you. Um, what I would like to do is, again, keep this session interactive. So at any point, if you have uh, any question or want to discuss something, um, let's, let's just do that. Um, so with that, I do have um, a very short um, agenda and a presentation uh, that I've prepared. Uh, so let me share, share that. Okay, assuming everyone can see that. Is that good? I think it was visible earlier. Now it has gone blank. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about now? Yeah, I can see. Okay. Perfect. It's right. Good. Good to go. Okay. All right. So um, let's kind of get started in the next uh, about 45, 40 to 45 minutes. Um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of just go over, you know, job interview and what do you do and you want to land a role, uh, find a job, all of that. And uh, I would like to step back a little bit and, uh, and look at it uh, even before the job interview, right? So uh, th this is something if, if you can uh, just read through, I'll quickly read this sentence. To, to me, the, the overall goal here is, uh, you know, some of us are, are maybe nervous, some of us are excited uh, for an interview, but overall, uh, the one thing that I want to learn from this process is I want to turn my nervous energy into curious energy. Th this is something that I, I tell myself in, in anything new. It's, it's uncomfortable, it's exciting, it's a learning opportunity, so, so why not? turn that into, into a curious energy. And, and that's what I try to do with, with, with anything that I'm approaching, whether it's a new uh, project, you know, new job or meeting someone new, anything um, of that sort. Um, so with that, uh, I, I'm just gonna leave that thought with everyone and uh, move forward. Here's the agenda for today. Uh, what's our goal today? Uh, you know, and essentially I think uh, if you agree otherwise, uh, let me know. But the goal here is how do I get that, uh, that interview and how do I successfully convert that into a job offer uh, th that I want? So, you know, finding the, the opportunity, getting the, the interview and then converting that, that um, interview into a successful job offer. That, that's our goal. Um, three steps. Uh, I, again, this is my own acronym. I call it uh, NIO, NEO, which is essentially you network, you interview, and you turn that interview into a job offer. And we'll just kind of high level go through that. Um, and then we'll go a little bit deeper into uh, interview framework and, and tips for that. And again, we can make that a discussion. Um, and then offer. So, you know, getting an offer and signing it is, is not, there's, there's some steps uh, with that. And then we can have some Q&A at the end. So, really short agenda uh with, with that i think uh, and i have some notes uh, some some examples i can share so i'm going to refer to that as well um so with, with that uh if again if there's any questions let me know but we'll get started with uh we, we are all aligned with the goal um find uh, a job opportunity which means you know here's a job uh, listed, you 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 uh, you you get that interview, and then you land that job offer. So that's our goal. 
sorry was there a was there a question i don't i don't think anybody has raised hand okay okay yeah. <clears throat> so again uh you know just just the the very high level three steps um even before you you uh interview there are some steps that you you have to take to get that interview and i would like to ask the the audience here um who is is there anyone that really likes to sit down and and apply to you know hundreds of jobs um fill out the the application forms and the same steps write cover letters um i don't know many people that like to do that um but you know sh if you have any experiences or um anything to share um let me know um i i again i i don't like it i don't know many people that do and so uh that brings us to uh the 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 n out of neo the the network um we we all absolutely need to to do this step uh and how do we network uh we are we're all using social media today right the the uh, facebooks of the world the linkedin anything else out there instagram i don't know i don't even know all of those but i use linkedin heavily and i use uh different uh different avenues whether it's meeting with people in person whether you know calling or asking them to have a um a, a coffee or um any other way that i can network with people uh and so so that to me is an extremely important step even before the interview even if you have an interview i would still uh you know network research on linkedin research about the company research about the the people where they work uh, what they do what are they into you know uh, apart from work um so i i i focus heavily on networking use linkedin use other um social media platforms um sometimes so so let's just say you you're looking to find a job opportunity you in your field of expertise you maybe have some companies that you work at that you want to work at i want to work at facebook let's say so you you're going to go you know research the company research about the company what's new uh, what has worked um the people that work there in the area that uh, that you want to work at uh you know you'll be surprised the 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 friends that you hang out with ask them those questions where do they work who do they know i was so surprised so many times that uh at least there were two people i found out in my own network that knew someone that knew someone that at the place that i was either going to interview for or that i was trying to connect with the person it it absolutely happens you just have to stretch um you know your your connections and ask and get out of the comfort zone the most important thing um to to me that uh, the networking does is it makes it uncomfortable for me it it's it's not fun it's not easy at least to me uh it it it's uncomfortable that's that's when i <laughs> um uh, connect with people uh ask for their time uh just say you know i i would really like to connect with you and have a conversation for 5 or 10 minutes ask good questions listen carefully and you will be you will be surprised uh pleasantly surprised i think every time people love to connect uh you know they will they will respond back and if they don't that's okay sometimes people have something else going on but just continue doing that um you know if i if i can say this network 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 you just don't know who you will come across uh what information you will uh, learn through that process and how much important that is um networking also um really uh, kind of you know was a learning process for me i was able to learn uh, many new things by just observing listening what are people working on what they like uh you know what is valuable out in the market in the industry my own kind of tone body language uh my listening skills it 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 was really really um kind of eye opening in in many ways to 
to go out and talk to people. So um, again, I can't stress enough. Um, if you're not networking, if you're not talking to uh, to people outside of your network, extended connections, third level, fourth level, um, out on LinkedIn, uh, then then you're not networking effectively. Um, it is subtle. Uh, you know, I would like to just take a minute and and say that. Uh, networking has to be has to be subtle. You you know I I won't recommend you you call someone or email and say you know I found this uh, this job listed. Can we talk? I, obviously that's not networking. Uh, but but you find out their time. You ask like, um, hey you know I came across this. Uh, I wanted to chat with you. What are the current opportunities? What challenges you're facing? Um, and uh, ask again, ask good questions. Um, <clears throat> and uh, for me, it was a process uh, turning that that fear, that anxiety. How do I talk to a stranger? Why would they spend their time with me? Uh, you know, why would they even connect? Turning that fear and anxiety into an opportunity um, and really making good connections, making making some some friends, even some some professional colleagues. Um, uh, you know, out there in the network. So that really helped me uh, and helped kind of groom uh, even even uh, the, the communication skills and the conversation skills. Um, so I think I've, I've spoken enough about uh, network, at least high level. And uh, again, uh, I can't stress enough with or without an interview, I would continue uh, networking. And uh, I am happy to say this, uh, at least for me, at least in my last 10 years, uh, the, any, any role that I have gotten uh, is uh, through, uh, through a network, uh, extended network, someone knowing someone. I'm finding a job opportunity on LinkedIn and I'm saying, hey, can I spend some time with you or, or asking someone? So it, it's been like that and that, that process really works. Um, again, it's it's work to to uh, to to do that, but it's a very rewarding um, opportunity. So, um, any any questions so far on the on the network side of things? Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, the next is um, you know let's just say. You have applied for a job, um, or you have, uh, you know, network and, and found uh, an opportunity, um, and uh, you you now have an interview. Uh, you know whether it's uh, in today's world. Uh, I, I think uh, you know I can almost ninety percent think that it's going to be either a phone interview or a video interview, um, or maybe in person. Uh, but any of the the interview um, uh, type, uh, the, the 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 tips uh, and the framework is the same. Uh, you know, I call it again my own acronym. I call this E two C three. When I'm going for an interview, when I'm appearing for an interview, I, I really have it in my in my brain that I really have to use uh, these five kind of sections uh you know and and appear for that interview i'm the one as a candidate i'm controlling that interview not the interviewer not the hiring manager no person in hr i'm the one as a candidate that's going to control that interview and um uh, again high level let's let's go through how uh you know how how one can do that so again phone interview uh, phone screen or or a, a video or in person. Uh, in fact, I think if it's if it's phone or video, uh, the, the 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 top two there, the energy, the excitement, um, is even more important. Um, if when I'm sitting as a hiring manager and someone comes across on the phone or on the video that's not energetic, that's not excited to be there. Uh, their their body language and their tone doesn't convey that. For me, that interview is pretty much over uh, right at that point. Um, so I, again, I can't stress enough how important it is. I I, I don't don't know if if any of you have watched you know some movies or series where right before the a, a very important meeting, the the person is either doing jumping jacks or you know generating energy and creating that excitement. 
Um, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not recommending that everyone go to that to that extent or do that. But what I'm trying to say is, being showing that energy, bringing that excitement is extremely important. That's your first five or ten seconds uh, to make that impression. To you know, and it starts with, "How are you doing? How is your day going? Thank you for having me here." Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. You know, those things, uh, again, just mentioning, making that eye contact. You know, it's if it's a video interview, you are not able to shake hands, but uh, maybe even virtually doing that, you know, again, showing your, your uh, you know, that you're, you're pleased to be there, that you're excited to be there is extremely, extremely important. That sets the tone for the interview that you as a candidate are going to control. Um, and so uh, whatever works for you, uh, practice this in front of mirror, practice this, however, with another person uh, that you can practice with, but show that energy, show that excitement, convert that nervous energy into curious energy. You're excited to be there. Uh, you, you, you're thankful uh, that they are speaking with you. So show that. Um, focus again on your, your uh, tone and body language. Make sure it's it's positive and uh, and 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 have a conversation. Um, <clears throat> so uh, again, the high level steps, right? Energy and excitement. Uh, I would say sort of easy, right? I mean, you 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 really wanted that interview. You got it. You're there. Make sure you convey that through 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 different ways. Uh, now the the conversation. This to me is. Uh, you know, one of the most important steps in an interview. An interview, as I think you all know this, uh, but I'm gonna still state it, it's not a question and answer session. It's not that the interviewer is gonna ask you a question and you're gonna just answer it. It's a two-way street, it's a conversation. You're interviewing them as much as they're interviewing you. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're at the right place. It's the right role that you wanna land into and that you're going to learn and grow and, and all of that so it is a conversation and again you control uh, you control the process um so and, and what's your goal uh in 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 this conversation you're finding out again is this is this the right place is is this the great team that i wanted to work with you know how will i work with my hiring manager do i align with what they are looking for, uh, will I be able to grow all of those things? So have that as a, as a conversation. Um, some of the interview kind of just high level uh, questions that, uh, that I want to um, you know, maybe review uh, with you. And, and again, if you have any questions, uh, we, we can discuss uh, the, the typical interview questions. But uh, the, the very first question uh, almost every time is, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, I always feel that the interviewer is asking that question because you know a lot of them are uh, reviewing uh, your resume and your experience right that minute. They, they've reviewed it before, but you know it's not everyone is going to remember. So they're reviewing, and it's long, right? No one can read through two, three, uh, four pages, uh, and so they want you to summarize. Why are you there? Um, can, can anyone tell me, I'm going to make this interactive and put, put someone on spot. Can anyone tell me how much time do you spend on, tell me about yourself? Question. I think two to three minutes is a good time. I would think for the, uh, uh, you know, tell me about yourself. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, with some body, like starting with, uh, about myself and then going ahead with, uh, uh, Sometimes I follow the career path that I've gone through and uh, I end up with uh, some uh, aspiration that I want to go with. So I try to fit it in two to three minutes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Okay. Thank you. Rahul, for Rahul Gokhale says depends. Uh, Rahul, you can elaborate. Rahul himself is an achiever. No, uh, for sure. I mean, when I said I, it depends, I was more referring to, uh, as said, two minutes is optimum. But if the conversation is going really well, and if the if you feel that the interviewer is picking up on something, you might 
candidly ask like hey do you want to want me to maybe talk more about this or when sometimes i start introducing myself i the first sentence i say is that hey i'm going to talk about myself for a couple of minutes maybe and i'll be very high level but if something interests you or you want to know more please ask and i'll be happy to elaborate uh, okay. that's the way i deal with it okay <clears throat> Dr. Somnath Chinde, Dr. Somnath Chinde has raised hand. Somnath, can you take over, please? Yeah. Um, what Raul said, I agree. And uh, in addition to that, uh, I don't usually, I would, I wouldn't limit myself to two to three minutes, but go ahead and uh, uh, keep their interest in me and uh, take uh, more time, about five minutes, to give a uh, detailed uh, introduction of me. My career path experience and uh, what uh, how that uh, is suitable to the position I'm applying for or interviewing for. So and, and it also depends on what stage of interview this question is being asked. Where if it is in the earlier stage or uh, final stage of interview, uh, because uh, uh, there will be multiple people interacting uh, and everyone might ask. Uh, in every session of the interview, the same question. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is. This is Mahendra. Mentor. He is VP LNT Infotech. Uh, Mahendra, please take over. Yeah. Thanks, Anu. Uh, I think I will also say that uh, the time one should spend depends on the position that you are applying for in the organization yes. as well as uh, as well as how you have landed up in that interview whether mm -hmm. it is in a structured way or it is more of a through uh, connect you have landed that opportunity and it is not really a listed position but the organization is looking at you as an individual and then probably likely to find a position for you in that organization, depending yes. on you as a person. Mm -hmm. So keeping in all this in mind, probably if you are inter getting interviewed for an entry-level position or a junior position, I would recommend probably anywhere between two to five minutes. But uh, as you, if you are uh, being interviewed for a senior positions, then probably you'll need to take the call on the fly in terms of uh, judging the body language, the interest level, and make it more conversational to really understand uh, where you should stop. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, excellent points. Uh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, I, I've learned a, a thing or two. Um, all excellent points. I, I would like to summarize and, and uh, maybe bring the discussion home a little bit. Um, this question, I think, tell me about yourself is, is typically asked in the beginning of the interview and a uh, very important points that I think, uh, you know, Mahindra sir, and I think, uh, Rahul and others made, uh, is w when, you know, what, what position are you, uh, what level of position, if you are in mid career or for an executive role, uh, typically, I give, tell me about yourself, not more than 90 seconds, a minute and a half. Uh, you are stating, you know, here's, here, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a leader in this, here's my experience in one or two sentences. And then you're, uh, you know, you're, you're making your uh, skills also uh, known in that, in that first uh, one or two sentence. Then you're going down to here's my specific experience from my last one or two roles, and uh, the 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 third or the fourth sentence is is really tailoring it to why are we speaking to each other? What's the job role, and how do I um, connect with that? So um, I know I've I've heard two to five minutes, and and that's that's a, a good number again, depending on what position uh, you're applying for. Uh, what what level and where is this question in uh, in in the interview? Mostly, it's in the beginning, but sometimes uh, you know it, it's 
towards the tell me more about yourself or elaborate on this i also really liked i think uh, rahul or 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 um, someone else mentioned that you know they they say i'm going to speak for two or four, four minutes about myself you know help me uh, go deeper if you want uh, on any particular topic that that i'm talking about so those are all really excellent points um when uh, in my personal experience when i've gone uh, for this question it is i really focus on uh, 60 to 70 seconds not more than that and also um i've learned this through experience uh i'm going into an interview and i'm feeling okay you know i i know my resume when they ask me tell me about yourself sure i can talk about hey my name is you know so and so uh I, this is my uh, experience so far this is my last job and this is what i do here's the you know two or three last roles none of that is what i would say again for for mid level uh for for if if you're in the beginning of your career uh you can always summarize and concise and and please uh i i again i i stress this rehearse 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 this question tell me about yourself you cannot be one cannot be doing mm, or uh yeah you know none of those upward pauses in there you are getting straight to the point you're saying this is what i do this is my experience and you know here's specific spe- specific one or two things you obviously want to tailor that one or two things to the job role that you're applying for uh, for that specific and that's why that that uh, rehearsing uh practicing is is extremely important so i just wanted to take one question um uh, w- one or two questions that that we can discuss with we can discuss any other questions or if you you know if you uh, disagree or or have uh, kind of more in depth you know why I, i'm saying 90 seconds or 2 minutes or you know keep it short we can discuss that but again i'm just sharing my experience that um i've typically i've lost the interviewer after 2 minutes if it's too long but if they want to elaborate on something and you're saying hey i'm going to talk about this in detail stop me if you have a question then that's great so tailor it to where you are uh how you met the person maybe it is a conversation that they want to have in deep maybe it's just a you know they're they're trying to feel out what all uh skills and experiences you have or want to focus on particular uh, skills so take that call um the the other um i think uh you know so again we're still on the conversation step in the interview so one of the things um, uh, if and, i may right uh, pratiba yeah 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 so my uh, so one of the things i've seen is i mean uh, being on both sides of the interview right taking and giving interview so you know yeah. practically as you rightly pointed out by the time right we get into an interview session right uh, as an interviewer right we are just skimming through the resume sometimes it is two pager four pager so you know the initial content that we i mean the interviewer is you know uh, dual focus in the initial 30 seconds at least yeah. so your punch lines right it's advised to probably keep them maybe after the first initial 30 seconds because that is the time right they are fumbling with their mails or their attachment and right so you know uh, <coughs> that's that's something that i wanted to share that uh, you yes. know that that's a thing to be Vike, considered Vike, can you introduce yourself vikay vikay can you introduce yourself sure uh, i'm just trying to get my camera on but for some reason <laughs> okay let me just try to after that there is a santosh shinde and uh, yogesh kulkarni has something to say after that we'll move on this is the last on this last two on this point we can okay. yeah okay uh, till he manages that uh, santosh shinde you want to say something santosh is out uh, yogesh kulkarni then we'll move on after that yogesh. yes Uh, yes i had uh, two points uh, uh one was yes i had two points one was that uh, uh you can set the tone for the interview so uh, try to market yourself as much as you can absolutely 
and then you can set the tone for upcoming interview as an uh, interview candidate. Uh, that's what I had to say. Yeah, no, that those are very excellent. Uh, Padua, just a point from uh, my uh, perspective. Uh, uh, can I talk about something which might be absolutely unrelated that I had been to Everest Base Camp? Can I tell that in the? Yeah, yeah, please, sir. Yeah, I mean, is it is it uh, it does it look okay in uh, talk about yourself? Oh, it it's a great uh, icebreaker, I would say. Hmm. Uh, but but again, uh, I mean, it's it's a great icebreaker if you can weave that into what are you you know what what are you trying to say? So are you are is is the job role? Um, you know, going to uh, is the job role asking for you to take on a big challenge uh, where you're going to have to problem solve a lot and how do you overcome that? So I would absolutely weave that into um, into that. Tell me about yourself if that makes sense. If not, then you can bring that up into a closing and, and we'll talk about closing. Sorry, Anand, I, I, I mean, I got dropped. I, you know, I don't know if you heard me. It's okay. We can hear you now. Okay. Okay. No, Anand, is, you're on mute. Did you ask me yeah. something? I got dropped. Yeah, Vicky, please carry on. Okay. So, I, hi, my name is Vignesh and I'm from, uh, you know, I have about 20 plus years of experience currently based in, uh, uh, you know, in, in the, you know, north in Canada, uh, in Toronto. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've, I've been on one side, you know, taking people's interviews, you know, looking at the great resignation going on. I think it's time that I move to the other side. So, <laughs> that's my interest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vignesh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Pratima, please carry on. Okay, um, Anand said, I don't know if I, uh, if I uh, uh, you answered have, your, your you question. Have, you have, you have. Okay, okay. Yeah. so um, I'm going to stop the presentation just for a few minutes and, and uh, go over one or two more points on the conversation piece of the interview. And then someone, I think it was uh, Mr. Santosh, probably he rightfully said, you can set the tone of the interview. Um, my suggestion is that you're setting the tone of the interview even before that, when you're bringing your your energy, you're asking the interview viewer how their do day is going. I'm just giving some examples. You can you can ask you know something else uh, or what are they working on? Uh, hey, how can I help you? I mean, just you know they the inter what is the goal of a, hi a hiring manager or the interviewer? They're looking for someone to solve the problem for them to do something that they don't want to do or they, you know they're they're looking for people that are going to join get to work for them and help them solve the problem make them look good make them shine those are the people they're looking for and so your attitude your energy um you saying that hey i'm that person in a subtle way is what they're looking for essentially and so uh, you know, this is, again, it, it might sound a little harsh, but, for, but, but think about it from the interviewer's perspective. They don't really care essentially how amazing you are. So it's not the time to uh, point out every little project or every little detail or every amazing thing that you think you have done. It's great, but the, the key is to make it concise, to make it, to make, to summarize it and tailor it to what the job role is asking for. It's it's absolutely essential. Every answer that you go through has to say, oh, and you know, in the role, this is what I have done. Here's my experience. Right? That's that's the that's the that's the important part. And this doesn't uh, this 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 doesn't come during the interview. I can't stress enough. You you can't go into an interview and say, sure, when they ask, I can answer. I can, you know, fumble my answer up. You can't do that. The, you, I mean, maybe you can and, you, you know, uh, you, you'll get the job. But in my experience, fumbling is, is not the right. If you want to move to the next step and ask for the role, you have earned the right to ask after you've done your, your, your practicing and you've given your answer. Then you've earned the right to ask for the job. So, uh, again, that, that question... Um, there's also there's also a format out there. If you if you Google or, or research, you'll see a, a you know and, and you probably already all know it. The star format, <clears throat> right? So use that format for most of the questions. 
in in your careers, whether you're just starting out or mid or um, executive level, you will have to go through, hey, what challenging situations did you face? How did you save the company money? Um, what new you know tools and technologies did you bring in? How did you work with the board or other executives? How uh, you know how do you uh, bring in teamwork and collaboration? How do you work with difficult people? How do you work with different departments? I mean that if you focus on that, your answers need to be tailored to that. And uh, the the way I learned it was uh, thinking about the star format. The star format is. You have to, again, making it conversation. This was the situation at my last job. The company was, was, was trying to implement you know, a new technology. And the, this was my specific role. These are the actions. Uh, these are, these, this is how I broke down the entire uh, project. You, know, you might not be doing everything, but this is how high level you broke down. So what, are, what were the tasks? How did you break it down? And then what actions you specifically took? So the A in the star, and then specifically saying what result was achieved. Specifically, whether it was $250,000 you saved or you brought in more efficiency, just you can't say, and we gained efficiency. We gained, uh, you know, 25%, 58%, 95% of the efficiency. You, you have to quantify that. Um, you know, we, we worked, uh, I mean, we, we made company profit. What was that? Where did you go from? And so being absolutely uh, specific about that result, and even if it is a soft result, right? I mean, you gained efficiency, you, you increased collaboration, change management, whatever it is, quantify that into numbers that we were at, you know, on a scale of one to 10, we were at two. We're now, you know, we, we went to seven, how, by, uh, you know, by taking a survey, whatever that was, but, but quantify those results. And I can't stress the fact enough that that doesn't just come to you in the interview. It doesn't come to me. So I, I want to practice those questions. There are a million questions out there. Uh, if, you, if you Google them, I take a lot of them and how would I answer them? What projects or work did I do that I can tailor to those questions? So, you know, have your question and answer bank ready. Um, and, and when you practice them, when the interviewer is asked, is giving you a situation, you can tailor that experience. So again, very important to, to control this interview, control the tone, uh, control those answers. And you also have to make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you're keeping track, right? You want to talk about yourself a little bit. What have you done and tailor that to, to what the interview is about. So um, with that, I think I'll, I'll uh, stop with the, the conversation piece here and see if there's any more questions or even discussions. Shishir Pitre from Dubai wants to say something. Shishir, please take over. Um, thank you for this uh, lot of tips that I have got through Pratibha uh, through the you. presentation. Um, I have a query or or uh, based on on my few interviews i had um, and i i want a feedback from you or your opinion on that is yeah. for example i have i'm giving an and i'm a candidate and i'm giving interview i have a panel of say two or three people in front of me mm -hmm. and what they are, they would ask me a question, for example, okay, talk about yourself or what your career is. And then they start fiddling around with mobile or they will start uh, doing things on a paper, doodle. You kind of get to a point where you start thinking, are they really listening to you? Or are they really keen on taking or, or your interview? Mm -hmm. So in that situation, what happens is you want to create an impact, mm -hmm. but the corresponding reception that you should get from the other side is not there. Yeah. <clears throat> in this situation, what should a person do? Or for example, you, you go there for a C-suite kind of a interview or a director or, a, or an executive and the person on the other side says yes uh, 
we will take your interview, but you need to wait for say thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then the timing was given; it was done. Yeah, you wait for thirty minutes, nothing happens, and you just kind of decide. Well, they don't seem to be interested. So, yeah. how do you deal with these situations? Yes, you want to do interviews and all these, but yeah, for for from an HR perspective, how do you look at this? Yeah. Uh, Shishir, by the way, by the way, Shishir himself is a very successful architect uh, from uh, Middle East. Okay, carry on, Prathiva. Yeah, I mean, I I have taken interviews and I have given interviews, but mm -hmm. what happens there is, is that sometimes you really feel like that's it. I would just want to get up from that interview and I don't want to continue. But yeah. it, it is kind of rude, and and you tend to go, but then your energy kind of starts dropping down, and you say hell with it. I I don't want to continue. <laughs> You know, so, Shishir, I I want to thank you for bringing in an excellent question. Thank you for your question. It it's it's a it's a reality of life today. We yes. I mean I I think we're all distracted by 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 this continuously, and so we we can't avoid that. So let's see what we can do about it, right? You mm -hmm. you know I mean yeah you you could get to a point where you know you guys called me here. Do you want to interview me? But let's say you are in, in you are in an interview with with a panel and and before i uh, say something sishir i do wanted to mention you before i forget i think you as a you as a uh, as a interviewer will be great because you're so sensitive that that this is an important step i think as a hiring manager as an interviewer yeah. you, you will be great and and keep those points in mind but let's just say uh you come across people that uh you know are are looking at something else checking email or whatever it is doodling on the paper uh it's a perfect time in my opinion to ask a question hmm. to get their okay. attention it's it's a perfect time to you know whatever questions you have prepared for that mm -hmm. interview at the end say hey can i please ask a question and you know a question or two i mean ask for their permission and, uh, and and then you know ask that question right away you know what are yeah. the top 3 priorities you have what are the challenges i would like to understand more mm -hmm. do not show i mean again this this may be hard in some position you'll have to take your own judgment call but do not show any sort of uh, kind of discomfort if they are uh, if they are late or whatever if 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 uh, you know we all know our, our days get ahead of us you know i've been late to interviews i've apologized i had to reschedule last minute i mean we we all know things happen right and so yeah. give them the the benefit of doubt but uh, that's to me to answer your question uh, to perfect time to ask a if a, a question where they have to look up at you and answer mm -hmm. that i i have some you know my sub thoughts around it right so yeah what I wanted to say in preparation of the interview, right? So in preparation of the interview, right, your recruiter, right, the people whom you are going to talk about, yeah. they are going to do a social media profiling of you, at yeah. least LinkedIn, right? Yeah. So, you know, you deserve to be prepared, right? You have the right to ask the interviewer who are the two or three gentle, gentle people, right? Gentlemen, gentle women who are going to take your interview, right? So the yeah. first things that you do is in addition to whatever you know, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, what are you doing for, I mean, which is the company that you're applying for what yeah. is the post you're applying for who are the people who are going to take it so that is one thing coming to shishir your question right once you do profiling right i mean again profiling is right has different stripes to it but i'm saying right you know whatever is publicly available typically linkedin or maybe facebook right you find out okay this guy is an avid boater or this guy loves cricket right so you know these are the opportunities for you to you know, to give analogies that, you know, that attract them and that keep them interested. Someone is a, right, a, a baseball fan, someone is a football fan, talk about the Dallas Cowboys, right? That is the way, right, you, you show that, right, you are not just there because of your skill. You are going to fit in there. You understand those people's culture. You understand that company's culture. So, yes, you can ask them a question, but depending upon if it's right early, you may not be able to ask it. But if you're threading these points in, right, in your interview, right? Yeah. If, someone, if I am taking an interview and someone has done the, you know, the analysis to find out for, that I'm from Thani or from Mumbai and they bring that in, automatically my ears are going to be perked, right? Yeah. That's got nothing to do with the skill set, just a... You know, that's how I think it is, is another way to answer, uh, you know, to, to handle the situation, guys. Yeah. Pratiba, Pratiba, how much more presentation you have? We are nearly on 45 minutes. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to go to um, concerns and then closing um, high level. Um, so let me go back to just sharing uh, the, 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 the remaining two pieces here. Uh, what I mean by, by concern. So, so again, just uh, summarizing the conversation piece, right? Uh, like VK just said, it's a two-way street. You are researching the interviewers. You are controlling that interview, however it is going, good or bad. If it's going good, great. Bring more energy, more questions, connect more with the interviewer on a personal level. That's, your, that's, that's what you need to do as a candidate. If it's not going well, bring it back on track. And that's what uh, is, is, is our next section, concerns. The job of the interviewer is to find who's going to do the work uh, for them in the, and bring in the best attitude, right? They, they are looking for someone who's going to come in, hit the ground running. And their other job is to cut out candidates by throwing out concerns. They're going to, they, you know, they're, it, it, they might have their own biases, whether it's, it's um, age related, gender related, your experience is not good enough. It's not enough in the number of years. You don't have that executive MBA. The education is not enough. Whatever the, the, the concerns are, they are going to throw them out. No one is going to come out and say, well, you don't have the MBA that we listed on the education. They're not going to say that, but you can hear it if you're listening carefully, you will hear those concerns in, in that conversation. And your goal is to catch them and address them right away. Do not wait uh, for, you know, thinking that I'll get the next interview or I'll write a nice thank you letter and then address that concern. Nope. This is the, it's the time in the interview to say, uh, you know, let's, let's just practice a concern. Um, hey, I don't think uh, you have, you know, 10 years of experience that we have listed. Um, I'll just throw it out to you before, before I uh, say anything, you know, if, if anyone wants to, to start addressing that concern. So I think, right, one of the ways I have, or we have seen, uh, you know, or the way I have graded people who have come up to that is, right, you know, you know, okay, you have worked on, right, so-and-so version of the technology and this is so-and-so, right? The candidate who is able to give me the assurance, right? Hey, I have done this and I see a lot of similarity between this and the new thing. There is like about 80% coverage provided and the remaining 20, I have the attitude to bring that. So whoever answers that, that is usually the winner. So that, that chasm is something that, that we have to fill up. Yeah, bingo. That's that's exactly what I would do. Um, thank you, VK. What I would like to add to that is you start by agreeing with them. You're saying, yeah, you're, you're right. I, I do see that, you know, I don't uh, fully have the, the 10 years of experience, but let me, uh, let me uh, help you understand, uh, you know, why I don't see that as a concern and let's see if, if that makes sense, right? And then I'll say, you know, here's the technology that when I started working with it, it was, it was new. I didn't know that, but I took it upon myself. I learned, I executed the project. Here are the results. And so I'm very confident with my, you know, quick learning and, you know, whatever, attitude, whatever you want to weave that into the answer to say, I can absolutely do this. You like, just like you said, you give them the confidence, you give them the assurance that, uh, this is what, uh, you, you know, you, you can bring to the table. They want to hear it. You want to give that specific example and the result of what you did to close that concern. So does that does that make sense? Yeah, I, I also wanted to add, if if I may, right, especially yeah, for this group, this Marathi group, right? Yeah. By nature, we are generally right humble, right? I mean that that is our DNA, right? That's our DNA, right? It's that, a good yeah, DNA. <laughs> yeah, that's our, that's our DNA, right? We are humble. We are meek, right? We, you know, we, you know, you know, we are alpa santushti, as they say, right? We are happy with what we have. We don't boast, right? We don't yeah. speak loud, right? We are ordered down usually. Again, not yeah. everyone, right? We are ordered yeah. down. But the interview is not the place for that, right? Interview, yeah. you are there, right? Kindle Advice, you are there. You are yeah. your only chance. Those 20, 30 minutes that you get, you have to show your prowess there. Yeah. Right. That is what makes a difference between. Right. I mean, we have all seen candidates. Right. You know, in certain places in India who are just lip syncing. 
right look at their confidence right they don't know the topic someone else is answering on their behalf from some other location right so i'm not saying that is what but you know when you are there yeah. that is your moment you have to seize yeah. that talk it out and take control yeah it's, uh, it's especially for our crowd you know <laughs> no absolutely essential and and that's uh, why you know I, i i will continue to to repeat that you're controlling the interview if it's going on track great build an build an additional personal connection um and if it's not going on track you have to bring it on track by simply asking what concerns can i answer for you um through the interview do you think i will you know uh, fit in here just directly ask for the concerns do not be anxious nervous what will they say what will they think it is your only chance so uh, m- maybe we can talk more after this but i want to f- i want to close with the the closing steps of this one minute rohit sathe and shishir pitre has rohit sathe from germany shishir pitre from dubai has something to say okay. then you go to the closing side please. sure yeah. yeah thank you very much rohit please take over sorry i just realized i was in mute pratima thanks for taking the time to share uh, the the insights with the group i just wanted to share a couple of things uh, probably reiterate on what you've already said and that is that is extremely important uh, the mindset that you go in with into an interview right yeah. uh, there is there is this preconceived notion that uh, you know you are more in need of the job than the other party yes and that is the single biggest pitfall in my view yes and here we've got to leverage you know the maharashtrian uh, nature that dna of being humble but at the same time pepper it with the appropriate level of confidence because um you know they want that job to be full 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 fulfilled as much as you want that job yeah i'll so add that, that really they want you more than you want them yeah yeah right yeah. and that kind of leads very well into your point on conversation because you know you get the best out of yourself only when you're in conversation yeah or only when you're in quote unquote offense when you go down the q and a path you're in the defense and then you cannot perform totally totally so you know really agree with the point on the important of sort of leading the interview rather than allowing the interviewer to lead the interview absolutely i can i cannot agree more any none of none of the interviews that i would ever go to i would give that control to the interviewer i'm controlling that process i'm asking the questions i am you know and and that doesn't mean you are aggressive or you're just uh, speaking out of turn you're asking for permission you're bringing that humbleness you're showing great attitude but you are there to ask for that job but i i couldn't agree more rohit they they want you if i'm the hiring manager i want that candidate more than the candidate wants the job honestly i mean when when i'm interviewing i'm going prepared because i'm like i don't want to do any more interviews if this is the candidate let's do the you know let's spend that 30 minutes effectively to find out if that is the right candidate so i'm spending that 30 minutes uh focusing on asking the questions that i want to get through to make sure that that's the candidate that i want on my team okay. um and so closing i i want to take a minute right the last step uh you know i hope and i don't know uh, maybe spend time uh, in the q and a but if you're not closing the interview you have left the job i would say 80% at 80% you have established that energy you have connected with the interviewer you are having a great conversation you have your questions in you are asking the questions and then at the end you say thank you for your time no you have to close the interview by saying have i addressed your concerns are there any more questions or concerns that i can ask do you see me working here ask for the job in a subtle manner ask for next steps what are the next steps it, it may be they themselves will say well we have another interview then you know panel and then hr and this and that then right away ask do you see me moving to the next step close that interview with firm next steps um and, and if they if they cannot give you firm firm next steps most of the time you'll hear you know there are four more candidates that we're interviewing when can i follow up with you if you don't have the contact information ask it's not aggressive if you do it in the right uh you know right kind of question and and right tone it's not at all aggressive 
but but ask for for that and close that interview i typically like to say summarize the interview this is what i learned this is what i think in one not more than two sentences summarize my experience specifically to that job and the challenge that they're looking for again one sentence not more than two and then close by saying this is absolutely you know it's going to be a phenomenal or a rewarding or a satisfying whatever you want to say this this opportunity it, it aligns and and ask for that job or the next steps and, and close it firmly if, if you're not doing that again my opinion we're leaving it open uh you know at 80 percent of the efforts and not going all the way 100 percent so yeah. so with that i will um say thank you and open it up to q a yeah i think uh we are on on one hour so we have to be brief uh, because I have to say a few closing remarks. If anybody wants to put in some um, add in or weigh in, please come in. Okay, uh, Pratiba, it was yeah. an excellent presentation. I would request uh, all those who are present here, if you have, and I'm sure you have felt the value of what we are doing. So I will request you to take it to your network. And, uh, you know, we should invite more. There are now, as, as I can see, there are. Uh, nearly uh, nearly 50 percent mentees and 50 percent mentors are there yeah. but we want to make it all inclusive and each one of us and i'm very glad that we have representation from qatar to germany a from qatar then germany then somebody is from uae and around the world so this is uh, what we should do i personally feel that we must invite most more students even those who may not be entering job market but they have to prepare themselves it's a process you know, you don't start it a day before you are called for an interview, a day before you think that now I want to be in a job market. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a life process. So we must invite more of us. And I want all of you to be with us. If you want to present something, we can do it together. I'll talk about a few things. Uh, VK mentioned about Marathi mindset, but I'm telling you it is changing. The very fact that we are here together it is a reflection that we are changing. We want to help each other in the community. When we talk about Marathi community, it doesn't mean we are against each, anybody else, but we want to help us. We want to help us. See, uh, uh, going ahead, I we see many a times a post in LinkedIn or something that I'm hiring. So I'm requesting all of them that why don't you give those I'm hiring posts to Garze Marathi. Mm -hmm. You know, same way I get many a times I get requests from many youths, you know, that I want internship or I want, uh, see, Garze Marathi cannot solve the problem of visa, but we can at least, you know, connect them to the right people. So um, I would be requesting many of you if I get certain request uh, about uh, internship or about the job. Normally, the procedure which I follow that if somebody tells me that I I am finishing my MS and I want a job, then I ask him or her that which eight companies you think that you are likely to get a job. Then yeah. in those eight companies, I find Garze Marathi persons and connect them. So. Yeah we have to come together we have to see that we can help our community today we are only say around 30 people to give and take few but this should be a big group and uh, we should uh, i think make a most of it so that our community can have today's pratibha's presentation and the question and answer and every it's sort of a you know combined <clears throat> okay may maybe uh... oh there we are you're on mute. I'm done. If anybody wants to say something, please come in. Yeah, I think right. Uh, this uh, oh, I'm flipped there. So what what I wanted to talk about is right. Uh, you know, I'm. You know, I, I like the point that you made, Anand, about right. Uh, you know, you know. You know, putting one ahead does not mean you're pushing anyone back, right? And and you know the 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 flavor of inclusiveness. You know, the talk of if you looked at LinkedIn now, right? You know, Black Lives Matter, and right. So that is right. That is something that is come up and it is you know it is something that is growing so right it's always good to be connected and that connection could be through your kids football game uh, par uh, parents or through your school alumni or through something that you share common right and so this is the common thread that we have that's the only way i look at it right i mean you know if if, if i was you know if i was born gujarati and if i'm using the network of gujarati there's you know that's okay that that's how it is right there's nothing right or wrong about it you know it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's just that, yeah. that that's what we are Okay, Shishir, Shishir, do you want to say something? Yeah, um, I just wanted to add to that. 
um, because my feeling from um, from this webinar, um, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, is the the presentation kind of caters to a particular kind of job market in terms of profession. Um, for example, uh, I found it. I'm an architect, a design professional. Um, the kind of interviews that we face as design professionals are totally different. Uh, they are, I would say, totally different for a for a reason. Uh, it's, it's nothing good or or bad about it. But the aspect of Garze Marathi uh, linking each other together could be. Uh, taken forward in a way which I think maybe, for example, your presentation that you did now, if, for example, someone from me, uh, from a design professional like me, I can give my own points to you to include it into your presentation where it starts becoming more inclusive, more um, comprehensive kind of uh, a presentation. For example, some of the questions that we face is, we rarely get asked the question, tell me about yourself as design professional, because once I get a, a CV, along with a CV, I get drawings, I get presentations. So I go through a portfolio. Yeah. So there is a bit of a difference, but being under the umbrella of Garze Marathi, what would be interesting would be that we as uh, there are about 18 or, or 16 other people. Maybe we all could add on points to your presentation and include it, for example, for design professionals, maybe one, two, three, four points can be yeah. added on. Shishi, uh, Anand, sir, I'll, I'll just uh, add to that. Shishi, you yeah. bring an excellent point. And uh, this presentation was was probably super high level, right? And so what you're, uh, what you're bringing to the table is absolutely... Uh, needed in some of the detailed workshops. What you're talking about essentially is, is maybe a very technical interview, whether it is um, architect or, you know, a, a medical profession or whatever. When I'm going into a technical interview, I absolutely have to explain not just the name of the technology, but how it was implemented and why it was implemented and, and uh, what did we do, how, what specific problem did it solve and how. So it's, mm -hmm. it's absolutely needed. And uh, Anand, sir, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is very high level. There's going to be some detailed workshops when we actually go through exactly. some of the interview uh, detailed questions. And, and so I invite, uh, this was a tremendous learning session for me, honestly. That's why I, I really wanted to connect with all of you and, and have this as an interactive session. Um, the, the vision that, that I think I have heard from Anand sir about Garze Marathi is, is so global. It is so authentic, right? The, the mission of connecting us to each other, uh, you know, whether it's professionally and on any particular topic and helping even one person or or bringing in best ideas i'm really excited about that mission it really aligns to what i want to do and uh, i think we should we should continue this forward in a with ideas from everyone and bring the best one forward yeah, yeah. i mean uh, I, the the presentation i understand is is a very basic uh, level but yeah. even at the basic level we as different professionals from different industries could add on to that. I mean, Absolutely. workshop, yes. Exactly. exactly. Um, see, uh, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, Shishir. What we are going to do, you know, as I mentioned, that next four weeks, we'll get a people from various industries or uh, various right. top level companies. Then we actually, yeah. when we start workshop, I'm going to invite subject experts, you know, for yeah. the particular stream, somebody will talk. There will be an overall thing. Maybe there is a uh, somebody talking about negotiation at the end of the interview. But Correct. at that, we will invite, um, you know, for a short period, we'll invite a subject expert. Somebody wants to talk about architecture. Somebody wants to talk sure. about biopharma So, sure. you know, those are the different verticals. We will definitely yeah. cover that. We'll definitely cover that. We have to okay. end the meeting. And before that, I want to invite Rahul, uh, Rahul Gokhale, who has raised a point. And after that, I think uh, because we are already on one hour, 45 minutes, uh, 15 minutes. So everybody's time is important. I thank everybody. I thank everybody sincerely. And we should come together, stay together and take this forward. That is my request. Uh, Rahul, last uh, question or comment from you. Sure, sure. I'll keep it short. Uh, uh, I just wanted to make a point and ask a question to the wider group. Uh, first, I'll make the point. Uh, 
excellent presentation pratibha for interviewing i learned a lot today but what i found was it is also very important to get that interview first right mm -hmm. so i would uh, uh, stress the importance of building up a resume cleaning up our linkedin profile making sure we don't post anything controversial on social media etc as well as networking uh so i just wanted to make that point and uh, what Excellent. worked for me really well or works is that i'm very shameless in following up right so i don't <laughs> take it personally if people don't reply etc so i'd encourage uh, everyone to do the same like that's one and i had second would be a question to the group so pratibha you mentioned the importance of networking and i get it right uh but there is networking when you're actively looking for a job but i would like to specifically ask how do you kind of look at networking when you are not looking for a job because everyone wants to grow their network and sometimes the best time to network is when you don't want something from someone you, you can guys you, are, can you, you guys talk are, about yeah can you, you talk you, a bit about that or anyone else on the group you, yeah. you, let me just take uh, 20 seconds here you guys are awesome you're asking absolutely uh, amazing questions and networking when you're not looking for a job in my opinion just my suggestion is more important than networking when you're looking for a job because when you're looking for a job your desperation may come out and you know it's it's not going to be uh, uh, very subtle uh, but but right now we're networking if you go to you know attend a webinar even virtually you are networking you're looking up the people that attended with you you're connecting with them either on linkedin you're sending them a message you can connect or that 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 networking has to be absolutely continuous even if your colleague you can ask them hey do you know so and so just continue to network your friends you might not even know i've learned so much from just you know i hey i didn't even know so that networking is is absolutely a continuous process network 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 all the time especially when you're not looking for a job so one thing i wanted to write rahul and pratibha right so look at right since the pandemic has hit right look at the number of people right i'm sad for them that they have lost their job right and you know they are putting up text on linkedin saying that i have posted on linkedin no one is helping okay you know it they're in a bad situation this is not the right time to say LinkedIn has been out for so many years. Have you posted anything single? Have you commented on anyone singly? Right. So you know it's a give and take relationship, right? So that was a real extreme to kind of prove the point, right? Yeah. Only you know, you know when you need it to me, right? Uh, you know, we're khodal data. That's what you're doing there. Yeah. Right? You you have to cultivate it, right? You have to cultivate a network. Absolutely. Give yourself time. Yeah, I, that is the example that I wanted to give about what Rahul and Pratibha you spoke, right? This Absolutely. is a stark example when people are losing their job. I mean, again, all due respect, whatever. But if you're expecting, I posted and no one is replying. I mean, why, right? I mean, what have give you yourself nine to eighteen months? Absolutely. And and uh, Rahul, thank you for mentioning. You have to groom yourself, uh, not just you know even before networking. Start posting. Start. uh you know looking at uh, different ways you can connect so you know absolutely next next week next week upendra maridikar talks about uh, four piece of marketing he says when you are appearing for the interview it is actually marketing and he is going to talk about product price place and promotion and uh, going ahead there will be other people also and by from first week of january we will start actual workshop there are few more people who want to weigh in right now and after that we will close the meeting i thank everybody on behalf of garje marathi on behalf of board of director garje marathi dr anita kant and sandeep padhyar present there uh, over to rohit sathe and kulkarni and then i will end the meeting um yeah rahul i think you asked a phenomenal question right and i also want to kind of comment a little bit about the gentleman who talked about the architect architects right so in my view linkedin is going to become your resume it is going to become your body of work so you've got to use that as a place where you build uh you share you connect and you build a brand for yourself in that space right that's a place where you will let people know exactly what you want them to know and this is the and the second point regarding networks right it's like the stock market you cannot time it you've got to consistently invest in it if you look at warren buffett's wealth that he has built over 30 years 
the first 20 years of his investing in the market yielded nothing. But it was in his 21st year onwards where he started to see compounding of returns. And networking is exactly that. You've got to continuously invest in building it and you will be amazed at the way in which the returns will compound at a certain point in time. And the last thing is, I follow a simple principle that when I'm building a network, I do not ask for a favor for minimum one year until I have gotten to know that person. Yeah. Because the moment you ask for a favor, you're out of that person's network. Yeah. So I follow a principle of one year, no asking for favors. Very well. We all, we all, we all talked about LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn all the time. Garze Marathi is spending huge amount of money to create our website to make it a super LinkedIn for Marathi people. Me, Abhi, Anita Khan, me pan tets bhangnar hote ki LinkedIn bhi shahi bolta hai apla global mara apla global GMG visro na ka apli profile tithe update kara upaya tithe hi networking kara itka changla itka changla platform tumhala kuthe hi mein na nahi me. मी ऍडव्हर्टाइज करते आहे जीएमजी ची करायची गरज नाहीये आता तुम्हाला कळत असेल किती इम्पॉर्टंट आहे आनंद आणि इतर सगळी माणसं प्रतिभाताई आणि सगळे जे काम करतात किती इम्पॉर्टंट आहे कळकळून विनंती आपली प्रोफाईल अपडेट करा आणि ऍक्टिव्ह राहा जीएमजी वरती धन्यवाद डॉक्टर अनिता खान पी एच डी इन जेनेटिक्स शी इज ऑन द बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर ऑफ दर्जे मराठी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दॅट शी इज अ रिअल वेल विशन शी इज नॉट डुईंग इट बिकॉज uh so can i get a permission to end the meeting thank Anybody you also? Oh, thank you everyone yeah, yeah. you guys have something to say that's the last thing uh, uh, yeah yes i just heard from uh, some uh, some uh, person that what you can do and that will help you is no top 3 or 5 people in your profession build a meaningful working relationship with them yeah. in the sense that you talk to them uh, on your subject matter you have discussions with them on your subject matter and uh, build a meaningful relationship or network with them that would really help yeah okay thank you thank you sir thank you everyone thank you have a great weekend i will take a pause here